Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Crumley. The Georgia Department of Community Health has asked an administrative hearing judge to revoke the operating license of an assisted living home in Forsyth County. State Inspector Deborah Smith said she paid a surprise visit to Terra Plantation in Cumming and found it was not properly safeguarding the residents. She said the home was inadequately staffed and lacks in job screening of caregivers. A representative of Assisted Living Concepts, which owns Terra Plantation, said the home is complying with with Georgia regulations. The USDA is thinking about reducing the number of government inspectors at poultry plants. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack announced the move this week, saying about 1,000 inspector jobs would be phased out and poultry companies themselves would take over some inspections. He says the move could save the government as much as $95 million in the first three years. And starting with the new school year, Hall County students will be able to take a couple of classes online if they can't fit those classes into their regular schedules. Hall County School Superintendent Will Schofield said at Monday night school board meeting, the first offerings will be Spanish 1 and Health. Schofield says it gives students who may be on advanced track or in band or chorus a chance to fit additional electives into their schedules. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Cromley.